to end this. In Negan. We will. But when we do, we have to make sure what's left is worth what we lost. The King, the Widow, and Rick episode of The Walking Dead was all over the place. Literally. Maggie and the Hilltop were busy dealing with their POWs while Rick tried to make a deal with the scavengers. Now my people know I'm here. And what they do next depends on what you do right now. Yes or no? What's it gonna be? No. Rick was then reminded of the saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, and now I'm stuck in a shipping container. Then there was Michonne and Rosita, who tried to go to the sanctuary, but got sidetracked by some music, and ended up pulling off the best kill of the season. Drop it. Baby girl, you're not gonna use that thing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to see that again. They also stumbled on the savior's cache of weapons, and Daryl, who had that killer look in his eyes. Why are you out here? We got a lot more work to do. Meanwhile, Carol was in the kingdom giving a pep talk to the king, who was being dumb. Those people need King Ezekiel. And if you can't be the king, then do what you do best and play the part. And then there was Carl, who befriended the stranger, Sadiq. Sadiq told Carl that he was on a mission to kill walkers because he's a mama's boy. My mom thought or hoped that killing them would free their souls. Intrigued, Carl freed some souls with Sadiq. And despite being told by Rick to leave Sadiq alone, Carl insisted he join the group. Sometimes kids have to find their own way to show their parents the way.